Hello friends, I'm going to be showing you how I installed these Home Decorators Collection 2-inch faux wood blinds from Home Depot at our house. First, this is everything that comes in the kit. And here's all the hardware. We won't be using the two little plastic things on the right, however. These are the tools I'll be using. But you're not going to see me use the level. First is taking down the old ugly curtains. My wife claims they're from the 70s. I think they're more likely the 80s or 90s. You don't have to be too delicate with this because they're all being thrown away. I then measure the distance between them so I can find the center point. These blinds have three places for you to hook up the accompanying brackets. I next go to four and a half inches after I measured. I should note that I measured the whole thing before I went and bought the blinds. Always a good idea. And then this nice little Craig tool here, which is not necessary, but I really like it, gives me a line halfway down the molding there. This is a pretty common colonial style molding and I've found that it's easiest if you go in just one of them as opposed to more. Now I am marking where the bracket holes need to be and then I will drill those. The screws go in very easily because I pre-drilled and I'm going as high as possible because that is the look we're going for. But you see they are adjustable. Putting on the side covers is much easier to do on the ground. It's a little bit harder when it's already been mounted and I can tell you that from experience. With these brackets, you simply place them in at the bottom and then lift up the top and snap it underneath and they're all locked in and you're pretty much done. I then tap it a little bit from side to side to get it centered on the window. The tilt wand simply snaps into place and you can hear it make a loud click and then your blinds will adjust. For the valance at the top, you just put together these little pieces on each corner. And then the little brackets to hold it on, I put them in sideways and turn it. And now this is probably the hardest part for me because those brackets are not in very well on the valance and you have to be careful while pushing them down on top but they do just snap into place and voila you have beautiful two inch blinds now